Hello and welcome back to yet another part of the um, character modeling tutorial or whatever its name is going to be. Um, I'm Daniel and we'll continue our work and by the way uh, because this madcap is getting boring I'm changing it now to something different <laughs> just because it's fun. So um, we can continue working and this part will finally be the end of here definitely we'll do whatever it takes to finish here no matter how long it's going to be so we had this attempt here to make some strands and I wasn't sure about it um, there's, I guess we're quickly going to work a bit on it and see if we can do anything with it so I'm just making it a very broad shape out of it so that I can start from begin to reshape it and you see I'm actually working quite a lot with the proportional editing tool uh, I really like working with it if I don't really know where I'm going yet because it makes it forces you to keep everything smooth in some ways so you can't really mess up too much I believe so what we need is some strands that <coughs> show that here that this is where most of the hair, hair um, starts at and I had troubles before making it but I hope we'll figure out a good way this time Ooh, okay let's let's redo that I guess it's not so good to use proportion editing here <laughs> Uh, okay, you know what, I'll just make a, few, a copy of this and just bring a few of these in, in place and we'll see later how we can shape them for the purpose. So let's say like three of them should be fine and now it's all about Getting them into place. And you can also use them to hide things that you don't want to show. For example, this part here had a pretty bad looking um, you know, connection here. So if possible, I would like to hide it with this one. So just make sure that the direction with which the hair joins into the, um, the other parts is the same so that it looks like really one hairstyle, not, not just a bunch of random things that stick out of a head. So... I guess this one we can leave it for now and see how it will look together with the other ones. Let's try to shape those. So this one I want to go backwards, kind of, not, not quite, but really backwards. And you see kind of this curve that they are making. Um, yeah, I guess these are kind of the details that you have to figure out. Uh, just make something that that looks like uh, it follows the flow of everything else because you really have some well outstanding elements here I mean in a way of they really stand out uh, because they're not connected to anything else and you want to find a way to make them to integrate them as good as possible without making it look like they don't belong here. So really trying to set, make them, uh, let them all have the same center and their directions should follow the flow of the hair around. And then you should get a result that satisfies you, hopefully. So, I'm kind of happy with this. 
kind of want to do some improvements though. I really like this first one though. That was that one went pretty good. So the last one over here. Um pretty much the same. I want to make it come together at the tip and I'll make this crease more intense again. And after a bit of adjustments and various things you get here. So one other thing that we could do is use this mesh below to um, to try to make the integration better. So see, I'm trying to create some creases here as well, and I'm going to replace some of the topology here and try to let this continue towards the center. So I'm going to delete this one and see whether I can connect it towards here and by doing that I should be able to you know just create a stronger crease towards the center which will which might make those parts that we created before look a bit better something like that And also in the middle, maybe the same deal. <coughs> yeah, I think that that did well. This idea. Now maybe one more over here. Let's just see if to make sure that we don't destroy anything. Okay, we can live with that. And there we go. I guess that was a success. something I could should be happy about and that's probably it that's probably all we have to do for here and I'm really happy it's over now since this was really tiring so just want to make sure that the center is at least kind of aligned and does not have too many seams that are visible. So this seems to be the end of this trend, so let's continue this. Yeah, it kind of works. Great. That's it. <laughs> That's the hair. Yeah, you can play around with this if you want to, and I might as well, but, 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 it's, it's good enough. And remember, we always go back and change things later on when we see that we can improve them. Because you often just, in the, in the moment that you're molding, that you mold them, you often just can't see it, and later you just realize it easily. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this part and it's a great moment in this tutorial since we can finally continue and I'm really looking forward to connecting this neck because it's annoying me since a while. I really want to see this complete. And then we're quite far already and we have lots of parts uh, behind, us, behind us and we have lots of things to still learn in this series. Um, have a good day, I hope to see you again in my next part.